Hello my dear students, for this video, I'm going to show to you the solution of the famous problem, the seven bridges of Konigsbergs. If you still remember, this is actually the uh, problem, okay? So we're going to trace okay, the, the bridges only once, okay? So is it possible to walk around the city crossing all the bridges exactly once? We have here a map of the city of Konigsberg with the seven bridges. So the land mass are actually colored with these vertices. We have here the land mass which is blue, the green, the red, and an orange. And these are the bridges. We need to convert this map or figure into a graph. How? The land masses will be the vertices and the bridges are the edges. Okay, so as you can see here in figure B, there are two bridges that connects the green and the blue that corresponds to these edges here. And this bridge here that connects the blue one and the orange, this is the corresponding edge. And there's also a bridge that connects the orange and green. And this is the line that represents that. This bridge here is actually the edge here. And we have here two bridges that connects the red and the green that corresponds to these two edges here. Now, the question is, if we're going to trace okay, this figure, Okay, is it possible to just trace the lines exactly once and we can pass through all the lines? So it's actually a problem of Euler path. Or it can be Euler circuit if we're going to go back to the starting point. Okay, using the concept of Euler path, okay, let's review Euler path. Okay, Euler path is actually, okay, you start at one vertex and ends at another vertex but you just need to travel or walk through all the edges exactly once. The difference of Euler path with Euler circuit is for Euler circuit you just need to go back to the starting point and the same condition you just need to pass through all the edges exactly once, okay? So even without tracing this, there's another theorem or idea how to do it. And that's the one uh, introduced to us by Leonard Euler. So how to determine whether a graph is an Euler path or even Euler circuit? Isn't it? We just need to count the number of odd vertices. If there is no add vertices, there is no add vertices, the graph is an Euler circuit. Meaning, if there is no add, add vertices, all the vertices are even. That is an Euler circuit. For an Euler path, there should be exactly two odd vertices. Exactly two odd vertices. So now, let us determine the degree of its vertex in this graph. What's the degree of the blue vertex? So to, to find the degree or to determine the degree, we just need to count the number of edges connected to it, isn't it? So for the blue vertex, there are three edges connected to it. Therefore, the degree is three. That is an odd degree. How about the orange? There's actually three. The degree of the red vertex is also is, is also three, and how about the blue? Ver uh, I'm sorry, the green vertex, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the degree is five. So what have you noticed? And the degree of all vertices, they are all odd. So if all the vertices are uh, are of odd degree, can we say that this graph is an Euler path? or an Euler circuit? 
For Euler path, it's not. It's not an Euler path because there should be exactly two odd vertices only. Exactly two. To name it as Euler path or to be called as Euler path. Okay? And how about Euler circuit? So it's not an Euler circuit. Why? Because all are a degree. For Euler circuit, all should be even degree. Therefore, the conclusion of Leonard Euler to this famous, okay, the solution to this famous problem is it's not possible. It is not possible to pass through all the bridges exactly once. Okay? So that's actually the solution to this famous problem. Okay? Now let's have uh, another uh, graph here finding the Euler path or Euler circuit. So first thing, we need to actually determine okay, whether there's an actually an Euler path. That is by just counting the number of a degree vertices. There should be only exactly two. Okay, so getting the degree of A, uh, that's three. How about B, four? How about D? One, two, three, four. How about C? Four. How the, how, how about F? It's three. And how about E? Two. So there are actually two odd vertices. That's vertex A with three with a degree of three and vertex F that's with a degree of three. So there are exactly two odd degree vertices. Therefore, we can conclude that this graph is an Euler path. There is an Euler path. Now, if we we were asked to find the Euler path, so we can actually uh, name the pattern, okay, the path by the vertices. Okay, so uh, one technique to find a path is to start at the vertex with, with an odd degree. So we can start with A or you can start with F. Okay, so I'll, let's try starting with A. So a path can be from A, then you go to, to B, then you go to, to D, then you may go back to B, then you go to C, then you go to D, then you go to F, then you may go to C, then you go to A, then you go to E, then you go to F. Let's check whether we actually pass through all the edges. So that's A, B, so we, from A we go to B, then we go to D, then we go back to B using this line here. Then we go to C. Then you go to D. Then we have F. We go to C. We go to A. We go to E and F. Okay? So isn't it? It's right. Okay, we all uh, pass through all the edges here or the lines. Okay, and we end at another point because that's an Euler path. But if it's a circuit, we should end with this, this starting point A. Okay, and this uh, path is not unique. You can actually have your uh, your own path. You can create your own path here starting with A. Then you, you may have C as your second vertex or you can have your E. You can start with, uh, with, with that. Okay, and then you can also have, uh, you can start also with F and then go to C or U D or E. Okay, so it's not unique. As long as you you pass this through all the lines or edges. So that's how to find an Euler path. Okay? So you can just do trial and error. But there is an algorithm on how to do it. Okay? Uh, then is how, how to find a path. You can use Fury's algorithm. So to find an Euler path or or and point our circuit number one make sure the graph has either zero or two odd vertices if the graph has zero odd vertices it's an Euler circuit 
If the graph has two, exactly two, odd vertices, it's an Euler path. Okay, second, if there are zero odd vertices, you may start any fur. That is to find the circuit. But if there are two odd vertices, as I said a while ago in our example, you may start at any one of the two odd vertices. Any of the two okay, odd vertices. Third, follow edges one at a time. You have, you, if you have a choice between a bridge and a non-bridge, always choose the non-bridge. Okay? And the fourth one is stop when you run out of edges. So you're done already. So that's actually the purest algorithm.